definitely helps being on the Hellborn side in this case. Well, Amongst control of whether it's not be a troll draft or not, you yeah. know, because they're the ones choosing to pollute the pool or not. So either way, taking a look at Rally and Scout being banned out, they do not want to face off uh, against Keizu Scout again. They're like, that was enough. <laughs> He's like, I'm not doing it, not doing it. Yeah. I'm going to leave the game if you don't ban him, Yelm. <laughs> Yelm's like, you know, I don't really want Random. to, but I need you here, so. <laughs> we have no Watch. insight on that whatsoever, but Coin Emperor, that's exactly what happened. For the forest, Ophelia Tempest in the lock pool again. Will they draft it? It seems like too much sugar is actually very comfortable in playing against Tempest. Mm -hmm. I've seen them leave it a lot, and they just pick more aggressive lineups and just uh, keep them from really growing too strong in the first place. Yeah. So Parasite's going to be Ooh. the final option here. Getting and uh, jungle on the board once again. Do not be shocked if they run an aggressive Parasite uh -huh. with a dual lane there in response to this Tempest saying, "Hey." You're going to have to work for your farm this game. Yeah. So, into the banning phase we go now. The only uh, interesting lock, really, is that Nymphora, of course. and um, the, the new god tier, says Pan Man. I, I don't think it's that status by any means, but... Definitely a good hero. Definitely a good hero, yeah. Always a lot of fun to watch with that uh, port potential. When you just talk about her skill set, it seems... Like it is completely ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, AOE 240 heal slash nuke. Uh, you know, we huge line stun that can stun level, up to three yeah. seconds <laughs> if you land a per you know 310 Managed damage line stun that goes 900 range. The ability to port yourself and teammates anywhere on the map and then uh, mono steroid. It's, it's like she has four gods. You, you could kind of do that with any hero though. Like, I know. You would just really like make it sound I, like. Like, but like Nimbora skills truly done for the epic yeah. of ages and well, flaming yeah. Except those like, actually, those it's not actually that overall. You look at like those are actually huge things, though. I mean, <laughs> they are actually yeah, that was a bad example. I know. <laughs> You're like ah, Thunderbringer summons lightning from the skies and new speedy people. cat that <laughs> that does stuff. <laughs> <laughs> GG Blitz. Okay, Blitz is the only exception. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it I, at that. I think Blitz is a little bit, um, I don't know I can say underrated by means, but I think he's hated on a little bit too much. Yeah. That's all, but anyway. War Beast. Again. Level 1 Congor coming up. <laughs> For the Legion side. <laughs> yeah. That would be ballsy, especially on the Legion side. Could you, I, could, I could just see them all mass TPing again and just do it. Because if, if your team was you're like, ah, they want to do it again, would they? <laughs> they if only Keizu scouted, though. If only he scouted, things could have been so much different. There you go. Bubbles Glacius coming out here. As far as the response goes. The Pandemonium War Beast. All yeah. sorts of wild. It's like a zoo over there on the Legion side. <laughs> see, uh. They can't get the Wild Soul, unfortunately. He is banned up by Sholin. No, but Blitz is still available. Either way, I don't know if they actually pick Pandemonium. They might. I mean, can't counter him if <laughs> they draft him. You know, it does go against physical. There'd be a lot of physical damage, though. Yeah. Already up the bat. Yeah, Bubbles. Glacius. Doesn't, not too much of a, doesn't really reveal too much as far as what they're final pick is going to be looking at that lock pool you gotta assume they're grabbing one jungler something like that parasite more likely unless they throw a curveball and draft on the legion side mm -hmm. and uh that and pebbles are available i'd assume they would get their pick between those two yeah they don't really need an extra support they don't really need a silent there's tons of options for that they can draft here their support's already uh, shown so Assume for them to grab one more uh, solo. Mm -hmm. This final pick. If you have a master of arms, could definitely be good for that. Let's see. Uh, there you go. Witch Slayer. So most likely the Witch Slayer actually. We we've, we've talked about that Witch Slayer uh, in combination with the War Beast and why he's is so powerful. I mean, the the battle cry helps his laning, but on top of that. Just the lockdown that you give a War Beast. Uh, heroes like Bubbles, Witch Slayer, even back yeah. there, anything that provides a lot of lockdown and slow form uh, that really allows him to do his damage. I mean, he puts out an absurd mm -hmm. on DPS during that, uh, I want to call it Metamorphosis. It is Metamorphosis, okay. I always get worried with some of those skill names, but uh, the yeah. Metamorphosis uh, puts out the same amount of damage. So that lockdown, and the reapplied lockdown, if he gets off a second volley of spells, is where it really just tears him apart. So I like the pick. Also strong against the Bubbles. Yeah. 
morph him, and he's not going to be uh, take covering anything anytime soon. Yeah, bubble is always considered to be good against that. So I don't know why. For some reason, I'm thinking Sand Wraith here. Sand Wraith yeah, is just standing uh, out to me. It's like he's that, glowing. We've seen it banned against them before, and very powerful. Uh, if they if they pick Sand Wraith, keep in mind it is going to change the the uh, the dynamic of their draft. That's for sure. They're not going to be going yeah. aggressive anymore. Probably, yeah. So probably not. No, it's definitely possible. They they can work it. You're right, because they have a bubbles, and they can just suicide the bubbles instead of putting it mid or top, and mm -hmm. that would be the more standard route. It's definitely something they're talking about. Yeah, I was hoping they would come through. Predator, though. Definitely carry Those moments are great, though, isn't it, where you... Uh, <laughs> we've had a couple of crazy <laughs> ones, though, where we list a hero that... We haven't seen in we about five, six months, about. and then we're just talking about that it's there, there that go. game where okay. we're like, I actually appeal to this hero, and it's like, well, they... They agree. They actually did pick a Suicide Gunblade that game, Breaky. Yeah. I don't know what you... <laughs> <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> well, why would they that? listen to us? That was silly. They're kind of screwed now. Uh, either way, uh, see Tempest instantly picked up and they're ready to give it another try and not going up against the scout this game. Mm -hmm. Feel more confident on top of the fact that Tempest is pretty damn good here against the Predator in these Parasite. fights. There's the Parasite. Keep in mind that Predator means they're probably, uh, well... Yeah, I can see an aggressive tree line. Yeah, no, they, they definitely could. Pebbles can... Uh, he doesn't have the biggest monopole for an aggressive lane, but it still should be fine. Yep. It'll be the first time we've seen an aggressive Pebbles. And just knowing their style lately, I'm inclined to believe they will... Well, the thing is they were doing with the Predator before. Mm-hmm. They could That's always solo the the pebbles, top and then bubbles yeah. mid, something like that. Yeah, wouldn't be out of the question. No, they can like to apply that pressure. We'll see. Wow. Okay. I was assuming we we're gonna see out of the, well, probably the deadwood, but, but Pan Man says they they wanted the god tier, so they go they go Nymphora with their final pick. Interesting. So how does that mean they're gonna lane? I assume Nymphora Master mid, which they're bottom, mm -hmm. Orbeez Suicide. Yep. Tempest Jungle. Okay. Valuing that Nymphora again. They got the Nymph Beast. Yeah. <laughs> that combination. Annoying. Yeah. I hope we don't see the fat Nymphora this game, by the way. <laughs> I will probably Love leave. We have five seconds. Yes! Oh, oh, no! Zelda. Or not Zelda. That'd be Link. Yeah. It's the, well, it's Link. It's not weird how the game's called Zelda, and you'd always think that it's it actually the legend of be Zelda. It's not called Zelda. It's the legend of Zelda. Well, I know it as just Zelda. So you have no idea how many, uh, <laughs> how many nerd. I don't know. Just girls are at high school who played N64, but not. They weren't too much into other gaming. That grew up with it, and they were, you know, they played. Just Zelda Ocarina of Time game, and they're like, oh, man, I love how play. They, they would always I call the Zelda. main character. Yeah. Zelda's awesome. Zelda's yeah, my favorite character. It's like no, they're talking about wrong. Leak, and I was Shut like, up. what? <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. How can you even... Happen to me all the time. So they are going to be running the aggressive, uh, aggressive pseudo trial, and it looks like. Predator is coming down here, of course. Uh, all five of them are, so they're going the classic uh, pentalane here. <laughs> Probably not. Standard pentalane. <laughs> There in the bottom, no, but they are facing off against each other here right away. And looking at the lineup, see once again, Moon this time is going for a uh, straight chalice, not going for the fast boot, so maybe not going to be aggressive this game. Yeah. Instead, more conventional laning might come out here. Keizu with that ring of protection. Suicide lane is an option. They're actually finding. Oh, no. oh the nice body block coming out, but he's not going to level up that leech. I agree with not leveling up leech. Yeah. Uh, you need to level up quick with parasite. It's almost like. Oh, the tundra blast just out of range. Yeah, if he had a uh, slightly. Oh, nope, nope, oh my oh, god! No, nope, he's taking the tower. He's taking the tower. He'll stun, and yeah, not going to happen. <laughs> Slicks is insane. Yeah. He's the way it afraid. looks too. It's uh. <laughs> The Rift Predator. Just he really likes all those Rift skins. He plays the the, rally, hunter. the Hunter Rally. Is uh, this Hunter Predator or Rift oh, look, Predator? Does that look like hunter a Hunter? Predator. I think it's Hunter Predator. No, it's not Hunter Predator. Oh, look Rift at the predator? skin. It looks straight from the. It's not psychedelic like I'm awarded, that's for sure. Yeah, but it's got the spikes. It's like, but no, come on. And then you see the Hunter skins. He has like the the beast parts all over Rally's blade. Uh, that's the Hunter Rally. But this is the enough. Rift Predator. Fair enough. Would Predator be a part of the Hunter Guild? He oh. seems like he hunts stuff, I mean. Well, that's enough discussion about that. 
Um, I honestly think that that might have worked out in the end pretty well for the Legion team. You, obviously, you know, Dustin happened, and it distracted the whole team for a little bit right there, especially Predator, who had to use some regen, and now he's back to the bottom lane, but it took some time to get down here. So. I like how they laned it, though. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Blacious is going to fall. Bloodless kill coming out in favor of Panty of everyone. I mean, he's the one that nearly got bloodlusted himself, and sure enough, turns it around. Yeah, you said you mentioned how they're landing it. Talk about the mind games as they're going back and forth, and they've been, they've been playing aggressive lately. Uh, we were the only people that had the insights. So like instead, yeah. we're gonna do a suicide tempest. You won't be able to screw with us. You're gonna do fine here against your solo bubbles. And <laughs> look at this beautiful hero blocking. Slicks has nowhere to go. He is gonna leap on an M4 in the end. Oh, it's gonna be sidestep, what? but he's going towards the tower. He knows he's still in a horrible spot. Can he actually get away? No, he cannot. Beautiful body blocking initially between Jolim right there, yeah. as well as Nier playing that Master of Arms. And actually, everyone had a high ping this game uh, on, on the Europe side as well. I was wondering a little bit about this. But yeah, it's uh, Panny's sitting at 210 too. Uh, 210 MS. Mm -hmm. Slix at 280, so got a couple people playing on high ping this game. No one actually lower than 130 this game. Who would have it's thought we've seen a, a defensive tri lane? With War Beast involved. Yeah. That's basically what we had there for a little bit. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, they, they made the adjustment. Sometimes you, you kind of go with unique stuff as according to the circumstances. Sequence in the meantime, he's being locked in. Nice Yieldstone right there. Will it actually be enough? The Graveyard Sun comes out. The Lich not going to be enough for the Caterpillar. And actually, Parasite will fall. It's already falling apart for too much sugar, man. This has got to be frustrating. It's interesting, though, where you see mind games countered by mind games. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, that's when the game really begins to evolve, when it's not like, okay, we see these picks and it's going to be, you know, Bubbles Suicide, Glacius Pred, you know, or Glacius Pebbles Pred Solo Top, and uh, that, that, I, I love that. I, love, I miss that, actually, a lot. Yeah, so. well, great adaptation, more so Good old by days. locomotives here, honestly. You know, you're, you're in four uh, Wish Slayer now. You got uh, War Beast being uh, partnered by Master of Arms every now and then, and currently he's actually stacking the jungle quite a bit. Uh, including the triple stack of the pull camp there. Probably going to get some pulls going and get some good lane positioning once again for Warbeast if necessary. In fact, he is going to do it right here. Speaking of Warbeast, Jolim, obviously a great start. He has that kill to work with, decent creep skill, creep kills. And, and you see that the Hellborn 2, by the way, has made the adjustment themselves. Bubbles obviously make it way to the bottom lane as uh, Predator just going top now, so... Realizing that uh, the plan was foiled by locomotives there, but it's already meant a three nothing hero kill lead in their favor, so they'll gladly accept this uh, exchange now once again and move on with this uh, continue on with this landing phase here. So already in the hole of this game, and oh wow, that's uh, not going to make things better. I just got to play that, and yeah, yeah, picking off slicks there, man. How? <laughs> How does that happen? A little bit over aggressive, and I guess so. Jeez, bit the dust. There's no element of void, obviously. I mean, that was just simply had to just be yeah, over aggression. Yeah, no, there. there's no other explanation. He's got the double boots now. What? Oh no, no, he's bringing. Okay, double boots. What? No, no, no. He was bringing. Okay, I clicked. It. He's bringing uh, his lane okay. partner boots <laughs> over there. <laughs> well, one for each foot, right? That's what they say. Yeah, except so. one of the boots is missing a sole. It doesn't even work. <laughs> it's missing a sole. Jeez. Oh, you mean actually the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't want the soul of the You mean boot, the physical uh, part. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm just like, damn, that's dark, man. <laughs> Boots don't have no souls. <laughs> oh, Bubbles right here, actually. Running into uh, a friendly man in Nymphora. Oh, not so no, friendly, the actually. Hasted War Beast. Oh, I call yeah, it Hasted, but it's Metamorphosis. That is such a... Oh, okay, that's not where he's going. <laughs> he ran into the trees there. <laughs> there we go. Panty so I, you know, it. I love trees. I'm just going to go <laughs> take out this little, and then he gets it's caught something. Out, so. Yeah. Keizu. See you later, buddy. It's kind of looking like game two right now. D well, yeah, without the Congor, but still, uh, that's the, that makes it that much worse, right? That They're still getting off to the phenomenal start. And you're looking at support hero like Nymphora, which they're doing just fine in mid. Mm -hmm. And then you're looking at Nymphora. It's not gonna be one of those games where it's 15 minutes and we're rolling dice to see whether or not she's in Temple <laughs> Six. Yeah, she's gonna get that plenty of time at this rate. And how about already an Abyssal Skull on War Beast? I mean, he's just had phenomenal farm himself. And look where he gets the transition to now, opening up another yep. lane for farm. Yeah, Master of Arms gonna now start taking over as more of a 
utility mm -hmm. that it can be. I love when I see the transitioned rolls like that, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, great. Great play. And once the Witch Slayer gets a portal key, that's even more farm priority onto Master of Arms, ideally. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Witch Slayer early game uh, prioritizing his farm. He gets his portal key, and then he uses that to buy room once again for his teammates. And a really nice adaptive play. I also find it kind of interesting. I, mean, I still think it's great for the team, obviously, but even with it being in the short lane and a priority farm lane here on Warbeast, he actually still chose to max out the battle cry um, in that situation. I think it's, it even, even speaks more so because it gives yep. your supports the uh, the range. You don't need any help for the last hitting with that yeah. third. Yeah, the primal rage. May slow down. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic idea. Generally a little bit, but. And now, so that he's level four no, now that he has level 4 problem rage and Abyssal Skull, it's 0%. Because yeah. yeah. his wolves, are, are they already do enough damage to heal up through the Abyssal, through the, the extra damage, and it's infinite spam of it. It's zero mana cost. Mm -hmm. It literally is yeah, zero that, mana cost. Actually, that's one thing that, <laughs> if anything, I might want to see uh, take it, have another look taken at with War Beasts, is yeah. maybe adding a bit more of a mana cost to that battle cry. But it does add... Oh, the other mess up for it. It does catch Predator right here. Parasite off to the side. He had to angle himself to get the face like Finally stopped, but a good duration. There's the Selfer bullet. And the Rift, Predator falling back to the Rift right there. Great kill sequence for coming out by, well, sequence actually. Um, Mr. Ling leading the way. The Elemental Void just on the outskirts. You saw the Ghost or the Wild Hunter Parasite. And actually, Green Parasite, what is Moon Eater thinking? Why was he even coming back in here? He does have support coming in from Glacius, but he will fall. And now Glacius like, I feel like dying too. He has a haste rune, so never mind. Maybe not so much, but... Very odd decision making there, honestly. Oh, gee, guys, I also <laughs> want to... Get in on that? No, he, he's fine. Unfortunately, he's just right now, they have the best lineup for recovery. BK with the portal key, maybe something can go there, but otherwise, but they're waiting on Bubbles level 6. Master of Arms in a lot of trouble. Here comes Warby. So, and look at the damage. Look at Bubbles. Holy crap. Bubbles just melted. He couldn't even get a shell surf off in time. It just happened so quickly. KZ did not see that coming, and Nier just annihilates him. They went for the kill in a Master of Arms. He just kited them away, basically. And now they're going to counter push the bottom lane, the top lane being pushed in. I, 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 I just, I also think that you know the state of mind is really isn't there right now for TMSR. Yeah, yeah maybe anymore. because of that second game and leading into this game, how it started. Clearly, something's off, man. Yeah. Um. They just, they weren't able to execute the early game plan. They weren't expecting the gank to happen from behind bottom lane. They were caught off guard from there. Yeah. Able to do much. Yeah. I mean, Besides, nice deny, but yeah. do they have anything going really? I mean, Pebbles is no. 300 gold per minute. You so. say, oh, Pride can farm up, but guess what? Warbeast is actually awesome against Predator because, yeah. well, he a he's pure physical damage. B a brutalizer is part of his natural path, and a brutalizer even working through the stone skin, the iron. Hide, rubber, the stone, the stone hide. Yeah, there stone. we go. <laughs> yeah, stone iron Mix, skin hide. Mixing those words, man. See what happens. That's a lot of lockdown for Predator, even as the game progresses. You not only get War Beast, you get a Tempest. The morph, it, it's just abusive at that point. Tempest is gonna. Oh my God! He's gonna get counter kill. He's gonna pull out. He's gonna pull out. Oh my God! Are you serious? <laughs> Mr. Ling oh is going my wild. Gosh, that is just gotta be. If if you weren't frustrated already, that just that just puts it over the top, man. I mean, I thought for sure they had a guaranteed kill uh, opening from Parasite. By the way, in the middle lane, off the mask, going to which they're trying to get a range of Glacius. The graveyard's done though, just just shy. And actually, yep. he might be in trouble now. Chuck Probably from Pebbles, not. maybe yes, he's oh, getting there, Glacius. He's gonna get it. There's the freeze. And oh, the silver bullet. Are you? No, he's gonna get away. Seal's done. It's gonna hit. Are you kidding me? Oh, the no, manager no, 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 no. Joseph coming in. There's a Calfield though, and it <laughs> oh will end up killing Witch Slayer. Nim4 now is in a lot of trouble right here. He does have support coming over from Tempest. Can Mr. Link save the day once again? There's a stun. He doesn't have an elemental void. Double jam or illusion is going to be up. He hits right it. There. hits, but it's not going to be enough for the kill in the end. He sends in the illusions, and that will be the end of that. <laughs> it's just it's this the series, man. It's just turned out to be a entertainment. That's for sure. Oh my god, yeah. MVIP, or, well, I'm sorry, I call it MVIP. Too much sugar. Woke up on the wrong side of bed today. Guess so. Yeah, game one, it oh, looks great, great as usual, but. Okay. Yeah, it, it looks was phenomenal. It looked, it looked I, I, I really think the, whole, the tilt factor, you know, with game two, the level one Congor and how that just progressed, and 
Now here in game three, the way this one started, how they didn't kill Panty, remember? They were chasing him and... Game one, Duma Sugar played fine. I thought it was locomotives that looked like they were missing a beat. Mm -hmm. they, they, they didn't have that same level of teamwork that they're showing now. Yeah, and you can say vice versa. It also, how it negatively affected too, too much sugar, it very positively did the, that for locomotives. And actually, Pebbles, oh, B Kid. He, it. The lockdown from Witch, man. Yeah, it's, again, it just seems like they, they really are in a state of. They're, they almost already know this is over. <laughs> I mean, Lavorbius is going to chase Bubbles. He doesn't have a shelter for over three seconds. He's going to be fine in the end, but. And there's the push coming out, and. Looks like it should be a free second tower. They might want to try to use something. No, not really. You see no response from the top lane. Yeah, it's going to be free tower. Yeah. yeah. And actually, Bubbles, he needs to be careful. Hex, maybe? Miniaturization. Can he get a range? Yes, he can. Here comes a follow up with the graveyard. Tamp is also running in. Has an ultimate. Look at Glacius just sitting here, like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I can oh. stare at them, but not much else. That's crazy, man. That's, That's going to be weird. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that looks funny, actually. They and all actually ended up keeping Still, TP. Predator. Oh, Predator, he's stone hide. He should be fine. Should be fine. No, yeah. that was close. Yeah. That was really close. It just faded. Just faded. Well, well, two stone hide. Look at this. 11,000 gold lead already. Parasite coming in right here. Move me in trying to maybe get something, but no. He's going to fall back. That's a gold lead with the Tempest on the team with the Warbies, two devastating heroes. Yeah. Absolutely. And you look at the other side of things, and I won't say all they have is a Predator. Predator is great, and especially those mid game aggressive lineups, having that magic community is nice. But this isn't a team where that really does much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you made the point with the Warbies, so. Yeah, the instant lockdown from Witch Slayer, the Elemental Void, the Warbie, you know, we talked about it, so. Yeah. Uh, good tower kill there for a B kid, and actually he is just about to have his portal key. In fact, he could sell. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. Sells the buckler. Says I'm gonna get my portal key. This might be it right here already. B kid I need that always. ASAP. He just always does his job. Yeah. Yeah, he just always does his job. That's the most thing you can say about him. He doesn't always uh, make the craziest or most aggressive. But he just always does what he needs to do. Very consistent player. Yeah. I definitely agree there. Alright, gonna be the, the most strong addition to any there. team. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a game where I've seen B Kid completely smashed down and not getting his yeah. ball. <laughs> this is always finds manages his farm. to find it, yep. Or communicate with his team well enough to make sure he's able to find it somewhere, you know, and mm -hmm. that's important. Bubbles, top jams, lane. So Kizu. No portal key on the witch. Not yet at least. Thousand gold saved up. He amongst his team is actually fourth on the team in GPM, so you know, three hundred twenty seven gold for me is still higher than anyone on the Hellborn team, but Warbeast is the one that's continuing to be a shining star. That's the A+. Plus. And is that a Mighty Blade by Nier? So Master of Arms also working towards his shrunken head. Going to continue to go the safe route here. They know there's no guaranteed victory by any means. You look at what uh, Too Much Sugar's doing here. All five of them here at the bottom lane. Really protecting this Predator as they push it in. We'll see if maybe they can get a... I hate you so much. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Our producer's just teasing us. Anyways, we do see a jump right here. Actually coming out. Witch Slayer's gonna be picked up right off the back. Help it was used. There's a face second for us. So two kills there. Warbeast in the background was trying to chase. Now actually Master Varn's in a little bit of trouble. Here comes Tempest. He does have an ultimate, but look at the split coming out from uh, TMS Y. Oh no. Right there. And Parasite gonna is gonna be locked anyway. down in the end, so. They end up getting a counter kill there. That was a very Two important jump, one. though. Yeah. And taking out Witch Slayer, he saw they eventually manned up to pick off the Parasite, but in the end, find them extra time. Mm -hmm. See a haste room going to be picked up here by Master of Arms. So, but like you said, just buying them more and more time. That's the that's if anything what they need to happen here, or have to have happen. 1,800 gold on Predator. So farming up nicely. Getting closer and closer to that 300 gold from Minimark at least. See uh, Tempest, about 1,000 gold saved up himself. Mr. Ling, he has the Astral Leave. Ring of Sorcery, Steam Boots, great build up. Possibly just going to go straight into that Shrunken Head next instead. So they do have a Parasite, but he's the only one that can stop it at this point. If you had the shrunken head, at least. 
So this is game number three, and actually, uh, with that said, I'm actually curious. How the other series are yeah, progressing. Yeah, I assume it it's finished. Looks well, like they're the not in a game, so. Maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll have uh, Pamit actually update that real quickly here. See which team is going to be playing the winner of this series in the finals next year in Hogcast. It looks like, okay, so Justice League took that series two games to nothing, it sounds like. Congratulations to them, and as you mentioned, I mean, they, they're looking good, man. They're, they're looking like they're on a streak right now. And uh, they're going to be playing the winner of this series, winner of this game even, in the next matchup. By the way, you know what day it is? Yeah. It is July 11th. Love July 11th. What does that mean to you, know you Breaky? means. Free Slurpees at 7-Eleven, baby! Is that all you care about? That's where we're going after about this. this predator that's getting jumped right now. Elemental Void is used. Stonehide not going to matter. Uh, just maybe, well, quick burst. He's trying to move. It's hard to, though, when you get in locked down for 10 seconds. Yeah, free kill right there. Obviously, the bottom lane, uh, they did kill Master of Arms, so... <laughs> at least some positive there for TMSR once again. But Try on each side, but now Warby's with the shrunken head. Yeah. yeah. They've been looking like they've... And set it back a little bit there. I mean, at least they're finding some ground to make these pickoffs happen. And mm -hmm. well, Kodak's about to happen on Moomiander as well, about 20 gold shy right now. Okay. Let's see if he makes a route back to base after killing this cam. Mm, sequence trying to catch Pebbles, but not able to do so. Bubble's going to stay nearby, though. He's going to try to maybe ninja this tower. Let's we'll see if he's able to do so. Pebbles also nearby. The top lane does get pushed in. Wish there. He's the one that might need to be careful here. Okay, Pebbles is actually falling back, so he's just going to go for the Nile. Look at Casey running in, though. Oh, just a little bit too late. And actually, we'll show Surf away. <laughs> Portal out, so good attempt by Casey, but not enough. And Witch Slayer now farming gold for his Portal Key. Yeah. Last creep, and it's down. Portal Key instantly bought. He already had the menu up, I guarantee you. And surely did. Those buying skills coming into play. Sequence now with the. Well, like I said, let's go back to base first. So. Speed not being rewarded. <laughs> no matter how fast you are sometimes. Just not fast enough. We mentioned the Codex finished on uh, Moon Meander, so some good burst damage potential there. And this is a fairly squishy team outside of that War Beast, really. Definitely some good potential for him sure. in a game that he's really been strong here. Um, it rarely comes into actual play, but on those some um, rare circumstances, face up can't steal the shield. Mm -hmm. One more, one more takeover. Yep, it's going to be fine. That's big. Was big. Sh uh, Silver Bullet used. It did not d did not do the math correctly. So one auto attack away, but with the take cover up, it wasn't going to get it. Good, uh, good escape by Casey there, though. You no know, vestments, but just having the that wasn't helped. Did he have strength steam boots when he got initiated on? Uh, I'm not sure. I can't say actually. Probably did. If not, you can guarantee that he switched. Uh oh, and actually, Witch Slayer, he's going to be killed here. TMSR saying, hold on. I mean, you guys had a hell of a start, but we're not going to let that phase us too much as we move on. I don't understand why they're not going for like a team fighting out of the bottom tower and maybe uh, warning up for Kong at this point. Uh huh. I hear the. They went top. They were yeah, hoping okay. for a gank up there, it sounded like, but. Oh, they, well, here you go. Yeah, they do find Parasite. Parasite. Actually, he went right by him. He's like, wait, there's Parasite. Metamorphosis oh for Parasite. Try to make something happen, but yeah. <laughs> He's just not going to get away. One hit was like half his health. Yeah, a war beast is he's farmed. And when he's ahead of the curve, he is ahead of the curve. Dangerous. Not behind. Not <laughs> behind. <laughs> Bottom lane though, gonna be pushed in here again. They don't have parasite, obviously. Let's see if they find anything. Oh, looks like instead they're gonna go, they're gonna go to the jungle. Elder parasite on predator. So again, it's a case of they they're buying time. <laughs> Predator always can be very, very scary. And just like you're talking about, Warbeast doesn't care too much about Predator. Obviously with Predator, with that Carnivorous, he he also likes the beefy heroes. And Warbeast, would, as he builds up the life pool, he'll help out Predator a bit. He's going to port out right here as finishing farming up the Legion jungle. You mentioned Congor also. That's not really being addressed just yet. No wards really in the vicinity other than this one. By, uh... By locomotives there. 
Tempest still not purchasing. Okay, 3,500, so he's definitely going trunk and head. His next item. Yeah. And Predator picks up a Steam Staff, so and Sanitarius. Probably next. Not too many Assassin Shroud. Predator just we see nowadays. But back in the day, you know. We never saw that. I guess it could be an Arcana 2, technically. The Hellflower Pred. The Hellflower Pred. Also Hellflower's not actually... Seen. Well, you can always make a point for any hero that uses it does, it does damage item that allows you to disable, but not like they need a niche Hellflower pick up here. Yeah. Uh, definitely it'd be that insanity. Yeah. So, in a, in a state, though, of both teams, uh, again, it makes sense for, for TMSR. They really don't have a choice, but... Really for this Legion side, it, it, the longer they, they do wait to really push into the base or maybe go for that Congor or screw up the team fight in general, it does buy more and more time for Predator. It just keeps going back to that. So I gotta wonder when uh, Locomotives feels uh, it'll be necessary here to actually make something happen. Well, there's the Shrunken Head purchase on Tempest, so maybe that was the key coming out there. Soul's Bulwark also on War Beast, and it looks like they are grouping up in the vicinity of the bottom lane, so I think it's safe to say that we're going to start seeing that bit of a push happen. in the bottom tower. The last outer tower remaining also has shrunken out of Master, so yeah, this is really where it's going to start coming together very nicely now for Locomotives as we're approaching yeah. 22 and a half minutes in here. It's the timing they were looking. I can't believe it's only 22 minutes into this yeah. game, actually. I'm looking at it, and I'm feeling like they're... Let's feel longer. Yeah. That battle cry is disgusting every time I see it. And once it's not just the battle cry, look at how hard this Tempest hits. Uh, no battle cry activated now. Look at that with no no shrunken head on him yet too. He's gonna be hitting for like almost 180, 170. Yeah. With battle cry, uh, the abyssal skull, and the shrunken. Look, 164 to 170 without the shrunken even on him. You're looking at master. Okay. No Tempest. The Tempest? Oh wow! I'm sitting like Warby is like what are you? 183 Tempest, yeah. damage. He is hitting hard. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's a tempest. Does that strike you as ridiculous that's or what? Ridiculous, yes. It's actually the front lines right here. Yeah, Fall back. Damage though. items. I mean, I guess he gets plus what twenty four from the shrunken head. Yeah. A little bit of stats from astrolabe and stuff and the ring of sorcery, but either way, pretty much everyone is capable of putting out that late game damage. This could be a good Congo attempt at, well, never mind, not with the War Beast going top, so. <laughs> He's kind of important for that. They've got the Nymphora. Yeah. Well, they got Tempest hitting hard. Where do you establish that? But, uh, yeah, instead, choosing to kind of just fall back and push back their lanes a little bit here, both the middle, the top lane especially. You see 1,600 more gold saved up on Witch Slayer, so I guess another tier of items could be next in line now as far as Breaking into the base. Light brand by B Kid. Again, he likes to do that on these kind of heroes. Initiation style heroes. Maybe the uh he may be the most frequent um light purchaser brand of purchaser. light brand that I that I can think of actually. Yeah. Especially on Pebbles, I think he's it's Pebbles is Magnus, he does it frequently. Yeah. I miss his hammerstorm play. I haven't seen Hammerstorm in a while. Yeah, I, yeah, it has been a while, it? but do I do I miss it? You miss it? I don't know if you're taunting me or what here. What? No, <laughs> no. Um, I love B Kid, but I always felt like the Hammerstorm fell short. It worked out in Dreamhack. Uh, Did it? Dreamhack Winter. The one? Oh, the pre. Okay, I'm like sitting here. Yeah, Dreamhack Dreamhack's Winter just... previous. It did work out there, yeah. but uh, since then, I always felt like whenever they picked Hammerstorm, I was like, it's, even if they're AK hat, I was like, it's gonna be a matter of time before yeah. <laughs> the game falls short. It just never seemed to work out for them. I, I, so, yeah, I don't really miss the Hammerstorm too much. I love Beacon when he plays these kind of heroes, though. Oh, the no shrunken. Yeah, okay, that just hit me. <laughs> no, I wasn't taunting him. <laughs> to be clear, it's not taunting anybody. I just randomly brought it up. <laughs> what about the shrunken head? Well, the. The not using shrunken head on hammerstorm. Oh, was I wasn't even thinking about to? that. Oh, no, okay. I wasn't actually. <laughs> Here's even, something else. No, I wasn't even thinking about that. I always was just really uh, critical, I guess, of whenever gotcha. they drafted hammerstorm. Ah. And the ways they would, uh, the way they would run it instead ah, of it being okay. a secondary carry. That's true. Okay. Primary farmer, yeah. 
Nope, nope. All right, so they got Congor. Obviously, who got the token? Actually, Master. Yeah, Master of Arms. Near playing the Master. Picking. I remember, this is a Master of Arms that started as a secondary support, really. And as we saw, he kind of transitioned into more of a want to pick up farm. Oh well, yeah, they they gave him the lane yeah. after War Beast got his abyssal, and they established lane control. So, and we mentioned the Witch Slayer is going to buy room for the Master to farm more. Let's take a look at their farm. Yeah, Witch Slayer initially being in a higher role. 304 versus 30, 340. That's mm -hmm. um, so yeah, once again, it's, uh, excellent. That's what makes Master so great, though. That versatility. Jolin picking up the Brutalizer. It's being delivered right now. Nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. Gets here in time, and actually Pebbles doesn't want to wait for it, though. Nier's going to be bursted right off the bat, but he's going to come back, of course, and there's the lockdown he's on our Pebbles. Buyback. In the meantime, Predator going for Witch there. He does have buyback. He uses it immediately. Res Master Call on himself. Predator is still looking for some targets right here. Cuff are going to be his Nymphor says, I'm out of here. Never mind. Cancels it, actually. And now Predator's in a lot of trouble. He's trying to get the Carnivorous to work, but he was just way out there with no support happening. They were just completely leaving him dry. He does have a buyback, so maybe that's the plan. Okay, that's why back right there. And here we go with some more initiation. Tempest running over the trucker head. Can he get the elemental void off good position? Not gonna use it actually, just locking up bubbles. He's still waiting. There's Predator off to the side. Is he gonna use it just yet? No, still nothing. <laughs> and now Predator leaps in, but Tempest falling back. There goes the Pebbles follow up. There's the Codex. Tempest pretty tanky though, believe it or not. And he actually will fall back in the end. That was a very odd play right there. I just have it. Both teams kind of taunting well, each other. Well, he forced them back, though, and there yeah. were two buybacks in the end. Predator That's and true. Pebbles worked out phenomenally for locomotives. Going to take that momentum to apply another base push. Now, Elemental Void was not used. Mm -hmm. and what are their cooldowns? 30 seconds on Witch Slayer's bullet? Yeah. I don't even afford his poor for 36 seconds. That hardly matters. Yeah, that was actually... I mean, Panny choosing to use that uh, port <laughs> kind of midway through that fight as if they were going to look to retreat, but then they actually canceled it. Went back in, and that's where Predator actually ended up dying. So it's just, uh, again, kind of an interesting uh, sequence of events there. But as you said, the two buybacks used, that's a big deal right there by uh, by TMSR. And that gold swing just even more in favor now. 16,000 gold lead here for uh, uh, for a locomotive. So Shield Breaker now purchased on near Level 1 currently. War Beast, you got to think now finishing that Demonic Breastplate. Uh, very likely going to be next in line for him, too. And you got Predator actually picking up a Mighty Blade. Kind of wonder if that's going to turn into the Shark sure, Brutalizer. Or, or the Ice Brand. Or the Brutalizer. I mean, there's a lot of options here. I will put my. You think Brutalizer? Okay. What do you got this I'm time? I'm <laughs> give you this nice watch. You got a watch, watch yeah. It's <laughs> actually a really nice watch. It does look nice. Yeah, I'll. All right. Let me message uh, Slicks real quick. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> well, we have six minutes, hopefully, before a viewer tells us. <laughs> yeah. No. Anyway. Always so putting possessions on the line for so much. Anyway, uh, are we still farming away? Again, this is the move to the finals of the Ultimate Series Pandasol Tournament. A winner's going to be playing Justice League, who I'm sure is even probably tuning in, waiting to see which team they're going to play as well. Yep. Curious. Don't don't you love that brutalizers become a pretty like common item? Yeah. These days, I mean, transition to do more of a. We've even seen it on heroes like Sandray picking it up after Jounders and stuff like that later on. It's just, it's become a core. Uh, it definitely used to be one of those like we never see it. And if it was picked up, it, it was like this is kind of trolly. Troll, yeah. And uh, it did get that buff though a while ago mm -hmm. where it's being more the of that change of the build up. The, the, yeah. I think the build up change definitely helped too. So yeah. I don't even forget what it used to be. <laughs> All right, but yeah. Oh, there we go. Pebbles jumping in once again on the Master of Arms. Metamorphosis coming out. Okay, Master of Arms live. He's still alive in the background. P Carnivorous for Predator putting in the auto attacks. We'll get the kill. But at one cost right here. Slux is going to be bursted down in return. Does he have buyback? He does. He has his final buyback, which he uses right away. Pebbles also has his final buyback. But he's going to choose not to use it at least just yet. The melee Rax is already dead. They got what they came for. And now we see once again the retreat <laughs> coming out here from Locomotive. So they are just really chipping away constantly at too much sugar here. And not giving them uh, the, the huge opening interest of coming back, it seems like. They're just playing it safe. They're doing just enough to stay, good, stay a good amount ahead here. So we're going to fall back once again and probably reset and eventually push the middle and the top lane. Yeah. Maybe even wait for the next Congor here. Elemental Void wasn't even used. Yeah. Um, 
They, they have the shrunken head up on Witch Slayer now, so the safe initiation. You got War Beast about to finish his demonic breastplate, and the Brutalizer's nice, but it really takes form once he has demonic. Mm -hmm. uh, each item, Bru I mean, demonics is fantastic, but Brutalizer just, it, it's okay on him. It's just not that beast item until he does have that demonic, so. Yeah. Helps you, uh, still a percent chance, of course, but it helps you uh, get it to come out quicker because you're attacking faster, so. Mm -hmm. See? They're taking over the wallet hunter and jetting on out of there before any initiation happens on him. Bound eye on Panny. Now scouting around with it. Also great for counter warding, of course. Throwing out the nice little heal bomb. And they're making their way towards the top lane, so. Not going to wait for the Kong, or at least at this point. Just going to go straight to cutthroat here, you could say. Pushing in the top lane now and really taking it to... Uh, too much sugar and trying to finish off this series. Move on to the finals themselves. See 2,800 more gold saved up on Tempest. Definitely a point of Restoration Stone status now. He already has the portal key and shrunken head and everything else really. So the Warp Cliff that was purchased yet, not, not on War Beast yet. He's still waiting to finish the full Demonic Breastplate, so not going to be delivered. So he looks like he's going to be without that, at least for this fight here. If they initiate, that is. Instead, uh, gonna kind of clean up the jungle a little bit. Again, take away any resources for the Hellborn team to get at. Take a miracle for they come back from this game, though. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be for an extremely quite a bit farm predator with a brutalizer. It'll be one step in the process. <laughs> Level two codex on. Uh, Parasite now. There's a demonic yeah, purchase. Yeah, with the, the demonic on War Beast. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, War Beast at this point could just take on Pride without his ulti form, just right clicking him. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, but it's the point where. Mr. Ling apparently lagging. Gonna keep us in suspense. We forgive you. <laughs> Beak of the Angel. Are you gonna type slash Angel? <laughs> ah, damn it. He did it before me. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was so original, too. It's never been heard before. I got it before you, though. That's what matters. <laughs> For those of you that watch his stream, you definitely know what we're talking about. <laughs> I love... He goes, I'm such an angel. I'm 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 only going to play two commercials for you this break. <laughs> such an angel. He says that? Yeah, he says stuff like that. It's hilarious. Wow. <laughs> OP kid. <laughs> yeah, there's too much sugar team. Again, you can't look too much into it in the end. This is a fun event, really. You know, teams are practicing and shuffling around, but I, I really am curious where they're going to end up with their players. So you made the point beforehand that B kid, it sounds like that at least they've got something going there with that complexity team. Still not complexity, obviously, but uh, everyone minus Moon Meander plus Zai is what they've been playing with, so. If that's going to stick around, you know, who are, who's the five-man roster for this team going to be? Slicks, Casey, and Moon's pretty confident, but... Nova's out of the picture, obviously. Nova's out of the picture, yeah. Speaking of, the first. Uh, speaking of that, actually, big news announced today for the Han scene. Um, uh, it's on uh, Ghost of Gamers. Uh, Fantasy posted an article about it earlier Indonesian. today. Holy crap. Especially when I first read it, I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, okay, so basically what I'm talking about is the Indonesian... Han Championships, or I think it's what it's kind of labeled as. Uh, it's their season two of it, so it's for Indonesian Han only, but it's a billion Indonesian rupee prize pool. Oh, that sounds what? freaking amazing. That sounds great. Indonesia. See yeah, right? A billion Indonesian rupee. Now, that comes when you convert. It's obviously not nearly as much, but still, it's 100,000. 100,000. So, I see, it's kind of a mixed feeling. Like, that's still a lot of freaking money, man. 100,000 US dollars, but it's just so much cooler. To say one billion <laughs> Indonesian rupee. Like that's what it is in the That's end. what it is, yeah. So I will continue to say that. But still, $100,000 prize pool when you convert it to U.S. dollars. A, a lot of money. So that, that's great to hear that, again, just all over the world. On, uh, still still alive and very strong, to say the least. So, Anyways, back to this game. Uh, Demonic was delivered. So Warbeast does have that here now. And it's just a matter of uh, playing the game of 
We're going to kill your creeps and do chip damage on the tower once again. I'm pretty sure I've only seen a War Beast that's actually accomplished the Abyssal Skull, Shrunken, uh, Brutalizer, Demonic oh, Lose, maybe. Never. 5% of the games it's actually acquired. Yeah, it's a strong combination. Here we go, though. They're going to try to make that 5% happen right here. Warbeast goes Pedal Warbeast is off. And lock at the yellow about to avoid locking them down. Down goes Pebbles. The Carnivorous from Predator going to try to keep himself alive. It's not going to matter, though. He falls. Parasite also dead. And that should do it. GG's being called. The Locomotives going to the finals here of the Ultimate Series Bandit Soul Tournament as they take out too much sugar, two games to one here in this best set of three. So they're going to be playing Justice League, of course, in those finals. Yeah, big plays indeed. So, so that uh, that high winning percentage that you gave Orbeez, it still I mean, stands. I don't think I took, yeah. I, I don't so think it wasn't even a, I mean, if it was a close game or even if they were down 5K, I still might have said it. But yeah, yeah, I'll go for now. I uh, I don't know how we're going to settle this Emperor. Well, he, because he didn't get to finish farming He yet? He still has you the You want me to go play. Whisper Slicks? I mean, I don't like whispering someone after a game is <laughs> over. I feel like it's not the best thing for me to do, but. He technically didn't he get a brutalizer. Is what I'm getting. He technically at. didn't get a brutalizer. But he's farming for one. That's he his technically country. didn't get a brutalizer. Guarantee you. All right. All right. Well, I mean, if <laughs> we'll, we'll let it. <laughs> right. there, there, there you go. There you go. Thank, thank you. Thank you. This is nice. now my my beautiful watch here. I appreciate it. I'm not gonna do. That. All right. <laughs> You're gonna have it back. Uh, all right, though. Uh, obviously, locomotives. They do take this series two games to one. So again, they're moving out of the finals here. Uh, to play Justice League here and there, here and there, and that best set of three now uh, for more. So for too much sugar, again, it's it's definitely a lot of fun to watch, and with these big name players all coming together. But hey, man, I, you gotta look back at that game two, especially, and just that level one Kong and was, mass TPs, and <laughs> that's got to be frustrating. Clearly, something like, phased them there. I yeah. mean, understandably. So, yeah. well, not much else to say though no, about just that. Really you know? smart play coming out from locomotives. Yeah, um, deserving. We said the same thing about Yolm's drafts in the past, too. I mean, I'm yeah. excited to see this Grand Finals matchup now is going to be one hell of a game. Yeah, clearly not afraid to go off the wall to an extent. It, it Justice League is uh, somewhat of a similar team. You know, they're not afraid sure. to try out strategies. So I, I th this should be a lot of fun here for the Grand Finals. And th yeah. th this tournament, these Ultimate Series have really proven, especially the last couple, that – uh, they, they, they're making for some fun events and, and a lot of fun as far as content goes and hopefully entertainment for you guys at home because that's ultimately the goal, of course. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, we are going to take a short little break right here. It uh, looks like...